Welcome to Cinema of the Rainbow, I'm Andy, thanks for joining me once again today. We're having a look at the 2022 film My Fake Boyfriend. So our boy Andrew, not me, this guy is trying to move on from a toxic ex who just won't quit. And to help him do that, his eccentric best friend Jake comes up with this idea to use social media to create a fake boyfriend for him. But of course, things escalate, get out of hand, and suddenly this fake boyfriend is a huge worldwide celebrity, loved by all, even though he isn't actually real. Andrew is played by Keenan Lonsdale, and ever since watching him in Love, Simon, I just love seeing him pop up and stuff. He's the kind of character where he has a lot of likability about him, which really helps when he's about to make dumb decision after dumb decision. You kind of root for him, but you still you cringe and just feel secondhand embarrassment whenever he's about to go back to his ex. To kind of help Andrew move forward, he's got two best friends, Jake and Kelly, played by Dylan Sprouse and Sarah Hyland, respectively. These two are the unstoppable force of the film. The most entertaining part of the whole thing is their performances and the lengths they're willing to go to stop Andrew from going back to his ex. One of those things is creating this fake boyfriend, which goes way beyond like creating social media profiles and stuff. This guy, this fake guy, quickly becomes this global philanthropic superstar, loved by all, is the face of commercials for huge companies, launching campaigns to save endangered animals. And you can just tell that Jay revels in this attention as this hobby of keeping a fake man alive is just consuming his life. But sadly, I really didn't think the film was as funny or as clever as it thought it was, or it could have been. Mind you, I love these types of comedies where things just escalate and become more and more outlandish, and the cast was great. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I had a good time, it's definitely a film you can put on and enjoy, but it was like the film was kind of dangling a carrot on the stick in front of his own face. It was like trying so hard but could never really reach his full potential. Also, I know that Jake is supposed to be this genius, but every time it was just so distracting that these photoshops or so-called deep fakes were just obviously filmed with a real person. I know it was supposed to be good enough to be believable to the whole world, but it was just so obvious that it wasn't believable to an audience that you could actually do what Jake did. Um, there's a certain amount of suspension of disbelief there, but it just looked so obvious. It's almost like whenever social media has a big presence in a film and you have notifications coming up on screen and stuff like that, I always thought that was kind of annoying. Obviously they needed that, but I have a pet peeve that whenever you do that, you have to make it accurate and actually feel very seamless and it was just a bit much. But that's my fake boyfriend, a lot of good things, a bunch of bad things. As I said, I had a good time, so if it sounds like something you'd enjoy, do give it some love. I just don't think I'd remember it in a month or two, which is not necessarily a bad thing, it's just, it's meh, you know? But that shouldn't stop you from enjoying it, so I'm Andy, and this has been Cinema of the Rainbow.